Uh, I'm constantly online. I'm I'm on Facebook and um, email is huge communication tool and things like that. Always seeing the latest funny YouTube video. <laughs> <laughs> All time favorite YouTube video. Oh my gosh. I think there's one called like 10 reasons why Celine Dion is amazing. I've seen a lot of funny YouTube videos. <sighs> there's so many. And there are some of the funniest clips. They're kind of clips from interviews that she's done or kind of behind the scenes of her show in Vegas. My favorite YouTube video um, epic rap battles of history, yeah. I like the Turtles Kid. The I Like Turtles Kid. It's by these guys, Nice Peter, Epic Lloyd, and they take uh, characters from fiction and history. It's kind of tender. Oh my gosh, the first time I saw the um, video on YouTube of Christian the Lion. Did you see that one? No. Oh, just go look it up on YouTube. <laughs> and they have them rap against one another in these battles. Have you um, seen the talking dog one? No. The one where the guy voices over the dog. No. Dr. Seuss versus William Shakespeare, things like that. Uh, one of my favorite YouTube videos recently was the Halloween candy. Did you did you see that one with um, the Jimmy Kimmel one? Jimmy Kimmel. Yeah. I mean, I love the Honey Badger, but there's this video where it's like an obscure one and it's from the shopping network and I don't know what it's called, but it's from like the 70s and they're showing like this ladder. Have you seen this one? One of, one of the favorite YouTube videos would have to be um, Drinking Out of Cups. There's an animation um, of this uh, lizard and he's uh, mouthing the, the words spoken by some guy who I think was locked in a dark closet having an acid trip. And it's this guy from like the Home Shopping Network like climbing up the ladder and he completely face plants like in front of a live audience. So it's mean because I'm laughing at pain, but whatever. It's basically an audio recording of this guy blabbering off in a closet talking about whatever he's looking at. Uh, animated to a talking lizard. <laughs> and it's, um, it never, uh, the way he says, no way, uh, always gets me. I've sort of um, incorporated that into my <laughs> vernacular. But yeah, I like that one. Recently, I was watching those little girls who do the Nicki Minaj <laughs> super bass. <laughs> They're like super famous suddenly. Man dancing in like, I don't know how many countries. You must know what I'm talking about. He's doing like the same dance in like 30 some countries. The late James Brown and the late Pavarotti singing It's a Man's World. My favorite YouTube video? Oh my gosh. I have so many. You know, I only watch videos on there now. My all time favorite though is Charlie Bit My Finger. <laughs> Charlie Bit My Fingers is pretty classic. I feel like I've made so many of those faces as a child. I hope that kid never grows up. I just want him to stay that age forever. <laughs> I'm a huge fan of, of things that animals do. Yeah, my favorite uh, YouTube video involves talking cats. I like the recent one of the do dog playing the piano and singing, howling to the... He's playing on the piano and just ooh, making the craziest sounds. And there's a specific talking cat who says, Oh my dog. Why I eyes ya all the live long day. Oh, Long John. It's a whole thing. He's this growling cat. It's the most joyous thing in the whole wide world. Probably is, is Little Superstar. It's the little, like, um, Bollywood kind of uh, uh, little person. And he does, like, kind of hip hop break dancing. I really like him. I'm such a, you know, kind of a pop culture dinosaur, I guess, is I keep going back to things that I, that were touchstones for me when I was, when I was growing up, and now they're at my fingertips. Key and Peel, these guys are hysterical, and they make things funny that you probably really shouldn't be laughing at, but they're really funny, and they're very good, and they're very smart. So, uh, no, I got turned on to them, and I love them. You know, I can go back and look at, you know, children's television from Chicago where I grew up in the 1960s and I just type it in and there it is. I could access interviews of various female soldiers and talking about their experience. I can access Ann Richards, you know, speaking in the way that she spoke. Last year or so I was, I was uh, working in a piece about Helen Keller 
for public television. And uh, there was some YouTube uh, footage. I can do research very quickly in a way that there, I couldn't do 10 years ago, five years ago. There were some pieces of Helen Keller and Annie Sullivan in their vaudeville act. That was, what a treat, you know, what a resource. Uh, I watched a lot of chip handling. There's this one guy from Vancouver that does all of these sort of how to handle your chips and look like a pro, which was kind of funny. I'm still working on that. I don't think I'm gonna get it. <laughs> Do I have a favorite YouTube video? Oh my gosh, the, okay, this is really bad. Okay, I run the gamut with YouTube videos. So I will say that probably my favorite YouTube video ever is this, um, is this one, and I, I'm blanking right now on her name, but this pianist playing Beethoven's Moonlight Sonata. There's two YouTube videos that I watch probably too often. One is uh, these two girls are listening to uh, all the single ladies, and one is wearing a mask from the Stephen King story, It, of this clown. And it's the most incredible video of watching her fingers and her breath connect to this piece of music. So that's one of my favorite that I can watch forever because it's like watching a, a rock star of classical music. And she's dancing, dancing. She puts on all single ladies, all single ladies, and she's doing a dance thing this, and she doesn't she can't judge her proximity to a kind of a television, and she smashes her head on this TV, and I, 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 I faint from hysteria every time. Then the other one that I don't really watch is um, my boyfriend really likes to put on at random moments this, I think it's like nasal myalgia. I don't know, it's something that has to do with insects in your nose. And he really likes to put it on and just kind of turn the computer screen towards me because I literally be, like dry heave and start to cry and can't function for the next five minutes once I see this video. So if you looked up my YouTube visits, it would probably be that hit and like nasal myalgia. And another one is, um, I think one where a news, uh, yeah, a news reporter who's down south uh, swallows a moth in the middle, uh, he starts off being like this, and, yeah, and a moth flies into his mouth, and he, his personality shifts completely. You know, he goes from a very, very kind of like uh, straight up kind of guy to this incredible, you know, like angry, urban, you know, I, I can't even do it without probably offending somebody. But uh, very funny stuff, you know, YouTube. Thank you.